Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. People have been falling in love to the music of our next guest for years from We've Only Just Begun. At last, and so many other remarkable hits. Yes, please welcome to the circle the ambassador of love himself, yes. Gwen oh, Jones. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes. You so Listen, Thank I you. must ask you, when did you start your career? Because you've been doing this thing a long time. And yes. My mama sings time. your song in the house. Yeah, My God. Yeah, yeah, okay. A long time. I, I, you know, I started in church. Mm -hmm. I was like five, six years old. And uh, that parlayed into me singing with a group mm -hmm. from Jacksonville, Florida, which was where I'm born and raised. Mm -hmm. And we started touring with the... Uh, with the Mighty Clouds mm -hmm. and Shirley Caesar and all of the gospel greats when mm -hmm. I was about 12 years old. Wow. Went from Florida all the way to California just touring all the time and uh, it's been nonstop since so then. So you didn't see R&B in your future though? Well, no, I saw music in my future because eventually when I got a little older, I, I became uh, a songwriter when I was about 14, 15. Mm -hmm. And the kind of music that I was writing was very contemporary. Right. Mm -hmm. So I met Reverend James Cleveland. He got me a deal at Savoy Records. I recorded my first album at Ray Charles' studio in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And from there, uh, a couple of years later, Norman Connors heard my gospel nice. music, and he asked me to be featured on his album, which was the first R&B song I ever did. Nice. Mm. A song called Melancholy Fire with Top Ten, and I got a deal with RCA. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, in 1987, you uh, scored the biggest hit, well, one of my, my favorite songs, yeah. We've Only Just Begun. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. And it was crossover. Yes. So what... You know, R&B has changed. Yeah. I would love to know your opinion on how it has emerged from the 80s till now. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the fact that we can't cross over like we used to back then. Right. Well, you know, a lot of R&B that we hear now is just a recycle of, you know, the old school. You mm -hmm. know, and I, I do uh, 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 workshops with young kids from boys and girls clubs, and I tell them I present it because they hear music and they think it's brand new. Right. Like, no, dude, Miles... Miles Davis did this right, record right. years ago, you know, but I, a lot of the music, I, I like it, but I just like, you know, the essence of just real music, you know, like great lyrics and great mm -hmm. melodies, the kind of stuff that will be timely but timeless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the music you do. Come on now. Hello, somebody. Okay, Mr. Sure. And, and exactly. furthermore, I'd like to co-sign on that, you know, in relation to what we talked about in Full Circle mm -hmm. about, you know, the communities being, you know, um, very tense. Yes. I think our music is also yes. not being able to feed our communities like they used to, mm -hmm. just like you just said lyrically. Yeah. Right. The music used to serve as encouragement. It did. Yes. yes. It taught us. It, it, we was raised on it. And we, we did what they say. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. listen, you've worked with so many people, Diane yeah. Warwick and Teddy Riley. So who has been one of your favorites? Uh, I think one of the greatest moments for me when I stood on stage with Aretha Franklin. Mm. Mm. You know, I used to work with her. We used to uh, do dates at Radio City in New York and do Caesar's Palace. And I used to fly mm -hmm. into Detroit to do her birthday parties and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, the Queen of Soul. I mean, it, it don't it get don't no get better, no better than, 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 than the Queen uh -huh. of Soul. Yeah. yeah. My God. Mm. Yeah. Now, you also have a Grammy. In 1990, you had a duet with Linda Ronstadt. Well, you wrote a du duet called Don't Know Much um, by Linda Ronstadt and Erin Neville. And they won a Grammy for best, perform best group or duo with vocals. And many, pe many people don't know that. Um, you're such this amazing writer. Well, I write a lot of my stuff now. That particular song, I didn't write, but I recorded it. I recorded it before they recorded it. Mm. They won the, the Grammy, but um, my, my song is better. Uh -huh. I'm just, just going to say it like it is. Well, now we got to Google it. Uh -huh. We got to find it. You got to find it. That's what we do. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. You actually stopped recording in the 90s and came back in 1990 and then came back in 1998. What was, what, why did you take the break? Well, because, you know, the industry changed, you know, the landscape changed and, you know, a lot of record labels weren't signing artists. So I regrouped and uh, started a situation with my manager at the time called SAR. I did a, 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 a label and uh, came back with a record uh, and uh, we sold like 250,000 copies, you know, mm -hmm. for a little small independent label with no money. Mm -hmm. You know, that was a great accomplishment. Right. Mm -hmm. you know. So now you have a new song called Love by Design. Love by Design. Yeah. Tell us all about the new album. We're excited to hear okay. some real good singing come oh, back. Oh, yeah. Lord Love, have mercy. Jesus. Love by Design is uh, a song that a guy named James Day uh, wrote. And it's so amazing because this guy has a hearing impairment. Mm. But he writes great music. I mean, he's written for Layla Hathaway. He's wow. written for Tony Terry. He's written for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I heard the song, I immediately thought about Regina Bell because we've recorded together before. We have yeah. a long history. I, 
did a song with her years ago called From Now On. Mm -hmm. So um, I played it for her, I sent it to her, she flipped. Mm. So that's the new single, it's doing mm -hmm. very, very well, and that's the title of the album, Love By Design. Nice. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for coming down to the thank circle you, and hanging with us. Make Appreciate sure to it. buy Glenn's new single, Love By Design, everywhere music is sold. We'll see what you have to say about today's show. Stick around, and what the people say is next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Along with all this chat. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs>